Yo, what is up guys? My name is Encrypted and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a really cool seed to show you guys. Uh, I did a seed video just a few days ago actually showing off uh, three jungle seeds and the site I used to find those seeds was Minecraft Seed HQ and uh, I talked about them in the last video but I really like that site. I think it's a really cool site because you can literally find any seed you want in Minecraft, any version too. Uh, you know, it could be Java Edition, Bedrock Edition, or the older Legacy Edition. I believe that's on there as well. So, real quick, just saying that that's where I found this seed that I'm about to show you guys today. Today's seed is a Woodland Mansion Spawn Point seed. This is crazy. I've never seen anything quite like this. You don't, like, typically, like, a Woodland Mansion, for those of you who know what that is, you don't normally spawn near those. You, in, in fact, you usually don't even see those in the world. Usually the way it works is you either search and roam your entire world for freaking hours and hours and get lucky and stumble across it, or you go to a village, you know, pay a cartographer a ton of emeralds and paper and stuff until he finally gives you a, uh, you know, a woodland explorer map, and then you can find a mansion. But in this seed, you actually spawn pretty much in front of the Woodland Mansion, which is crazy. Um, so the seed is, real quick, let's get into what it is. Uh, the seed is called Bewitched Curse. I'm going to show you guys up on the screen how to spell it. It's uppercase B, lowercase E, W, I, T, C, H, E, D, uppercase C, lowercase U, R, S, E. And again, that's Bewitched Curse. Uh, it's up on the screen right, right now. You can use, you can spell that if you want, pause the video. Or, if you want to use the seed code with numbers, it is negative one, zero two, five eight, eight six, eight six, five. And yes, there are two eight sixes there. Um, I didn't just repeat myself, but basically, this seed is only going to be used on Bedrock Edition. So, if you're playing on a phone or Nintendo Switch, a PS4, an Xbox One. This will work. It does not work on Java Edition, though, and it does not work on the old Legacy Edition, only Bedrock Edition. So uh, just saying that right now, just so you guys know, uh, it will only work on Bedrock Edition. Alright, so as you guys can see, we just spawned in, and we are currently standing in a plains biome. And uh, I believe behind me is a desert. Uh, I think there was a desert there at spawn and a plains biome. And in front of us is a roofed forest, or, you know, the mushroom forest, like the giant mushrooms and the, uh, you know, dark oak trees. So, that's right in front of us, and you probably have already seen it by now, but the roof of the Woodland Mansion is right in front of us. You can see it right as soon as you spawn, you can see the roof of the Woodland Mansion, you literally cannot miss it. Especially if you start walk, uh, walking closer to the forest, you're just gonna immediately see it. So, I went ahead and flew over there as fast as I could. And uh, just take a look at this thing. I mean, this is a huge mansion. I mean, it is a mansion after all, uh, but it's kind of crazy for me to see because I've only ever seen one mansion in this game. Uh, and that was in my, you know, older videos on the channel from like a few months ago. Me and my friends went and checked out a woodland mansion in survival. That was the only mansion I've ever, ever seen besides this one. And it's crazy every time because it's so big and it's just a natural spawning, you know, structure. And it's just crazy to look at. Uh, but it is really cool, and it's kind of like just in the center of this forest. Well, actually, it's kind of in the center, also kind of on the uh, cusp of the border of this forest. It's a pretty small forest, actually. It's a pretty small roof forest, dark oak forest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, usually they're pretty big, but this one definitely was not. And that's good news for us, because that makes it very easy to find this thing. Now, uh, I went ahead and went inside and was just exploring some different rooms, you know, running around, looking for any mobs, maybe, you know, trying to find some evokers. Uh, and I did end up stumbling across a room that had a chest in it, which you'll probably see in a minute or two. Uh, and in the chest, there was actually a lot of stuff in this chest. I've never seen a chest spawn with this much loot in it. It was almost totally full. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I know there was a book in there. Um, I think there were some seeds, pumpkin seeds, I think, maybe melon seeds. Uh, I think there was some coal. Yeah, there was definitely coal. There was gunpowder. Having a hard time remembering the rest, but there was, you know, some resources in there. Some easy, cool, you know, beginning, uh, you know, beginning game use resources. And uh, the book in there was a, I believe it was a piercing three or something like that. I forget. I think it was piercing three. I think. 
which isn't really that good to be honest, but I mean, if you have a trident, it's great, but it's really not that good for anything else. Uh, but you know, books aren't, I don't think books are permanent. I think they change when, uh, every time you load up the world. In fact, I think the entire chest will change. So whatever loot I found in this chest, uh, for this, you know, video probably isn't going to be the same loot you'll find in yours. I think it changes on Bedrock Edition, which is good because this loot, you know, there was a lot in there, but it wasn't really all that good. So you'll probably find something better. Uh, and speaking of chests, I hate to say this, but... I only found just that one. That was the only chest I found that had like a lot of things in it. Uh, I did find a few others, but like I think one of them just had like saplings in it, and uh, I might have found another one. I'm not sure, but I pretty much broke every freaking you know part of this mansion. I broke so many walls. I broke like the whole ceiling pretty much. Uh, you guys will probably see that at the end of this. Um, I broke a lot of this mansion, and I didn't find any secret rooms. I didn't find. Uh, really anything that cool to be honest. I did see a lot of statues um, I think inside of the statues if they haven't changed it I know there's a lapis block in each statue somewhere. Um, I didn't check in this one I really should have I don't know why I didn't I think I was so like caught up trying to like explore the whole thing I just forgot but there were quite a few statues in here So if you break those inside of them there should be a lapis block and obviously a lapis block is made from nine lapis so if you take it to a crafting table, that's basically nine free lapis for each lapis block. So that's pretty much the only really cool thing I found in there besides the mending book. But uh, nonetheless, though, a mansion spawn is pretty cool. It has lots of resources just in general. Like if you took apart some of the mansions, some of the blocks in there. Um, now there is one thing in there that is really, really, really helpful no matter what you're doing. And those are the evokers. Uh, for those of you who don't know, an evoker is a mob, it's a hostile pillager mob, and uh, basically whenever you kill this guy, he's going to drop a totem of undying every single time. And that's such a big deal because totems of undying literally basically resurrect you from death immediately after you die. You technically don't even take a death. You don't lose XP, you don't lose items, or anything. And you basically respawn with like a ton of buffs and stuff uh, right where you die, which is awesome. So, obviously, getting totems, totems of Undying, you know, they're kind of rare. You kind of have to do raids to get them for the most part, or explore Woodland Mansions. And here we are, in a Woodland Mansion, uh, right as soon as you spawn. So, uh, that, that's definitely one big plus. No matter who you are or what you're playing, uh, whenever you get in the side, inside of this Woodland Mansion, you're going to get some Totems of Undying. So, that's a big, big plus, if you ask me. Now, I am going to throw this part in here, just because I feel like it's necessary to mention... Um, I was so excited to make this video about this seed because there was a pretty crazy, um, I don't even know what you call it, a crazy, uh, you know, part of this world, I guess you could call it. It was just like a really crazy thing that the, um, website said about the seed. And I know it's like crazy enough that it's a woodland mansion. That's already crazy enough that you're spawning on it. But there was something else that was even crazier about it. Um, basically, they said on the site, on the description of this seed, that there is a mega mine shaft underneath of this thing. And I was so hyped to make this video and like show that off, but like I'm kind of annoyed because it's. I searched this whole thing. I searched underground for like 20 minutes all underneath this thing. I followed the coordinates they put on the site, and there's not a single mine shaft anywhere near here. And I think I know what happened. Um, on the site, they said that this was like a mega mine shaft. Like they said, this is the biggest mine shaft they've ever seen ever, and they said it extends for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blocks. We're talking like five thousand blocks, maybe more. That was what it said on the site. That's way too big. That is just unbelievably big. Um, and I think what happened was it was like an unnatural spawn. I think something went wrong in the game, and it made it spawn like that. I think maybe with one of the recent updates, maybe they fixed that and made it so the mine shaft is no longer there. I think it might have just been a glitch with this world. I think there could have been something in the seed generator that just screwed up on this world when they found the seed, and it just caused like mine shafts to just go everywhere. I think that's what happened. I could be wrong. Um, I wish I was wrong. I mean, I like I said, I searched underneath this thing for like 20 minutes, and I didn't find a single damn thing. Like I found some caves, I found a little bit of lava here and there. I didn't find any mine shaft. Uh, so if I sound a little annoyed right now, that's why. Uh, I apologize. Normally I'm in a good mood when I film, but 
Uh, that did annoy me because I was so excited. I was like, oh man, like, you know, anyone that sees this is going to love this. This is going to be like the next best seed. You know, there's going to be so much early game loot just right as soon as you spawn. Uh, and that really puts a damper on it, the fact that that's, you know, no longer here. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe it is there. Maybe I just somehow missed it. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. There's no way I missed it, but who knows? If you guys want, though, uh, definitely check the seed out regardless, because a Woodland Mansion spawn is still a great freaking thing. Uh, and again, I, I explored a lot of the Woodland Mansion, and I didn't find really any chests or anything. I found that one kind of just sitting out in the open, but who knows? There, I could have missed something there. I will say that. I could have missed something in the Woodland Mansion. There could be a secret room that I just didn't notice. So you guys should definitely jump on here. Check it out. Explore a little bit. Let me know if you guys found any secret rooms. Maybe if you did come across the mine shaft. Let me know. I'm actually very curious. And, uh, in fact, I'm going to play on this seed at some point. I'm going to probably load up a world and try to do a little survival run. Who knows, maybe I'll even do, like, a challenge run on this or something. But, anyways, guys, I just figured I'd show you this seed. Uh, I do think it's a cool seed. I think it's a really cool seed, nonetheless. I'm happy I found it. And, uh, the only disappointing thing about it, like I said, is the fact that there is no mega mineshaft. I put quotes on that, because that's what they said, but, anyways... With that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this seed video. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. If you play on it at all, let me know if you found anything cool or anything that I may have missed, because I'm certain I probably missed something, right? Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video, and peace!